This is Duke University. In 1952, Alan Turing mathematically demonstrated how the nearly endless variety of patterns seen in nature could be explained by diffusible chemicals interacting by simple rules. Now, Duke University researchers have shown how two chemical signals, a few variables, and a dependence on time can not only create patterns, but can also make sure that these patterns have roughly the same proportions in every bacterial colony and maybe in every animal of a particular species. Researchers programmed cells to produce a chemical that increases its own production through a positive feedback loop and tagged it with a blue marker. That chemical also triggered the production of AHL, which built up over time as the colony grew. Once its concentration hit a certain threshold, AHL triggered the production of another chemical to slow production and tagged it with a red marker. The cells were then allowed to grow on a two-dimensional surface. Because cells on the outer edge produce proteins faster than those in the interior, their interactions caused a ring to appear. The researchers discovered that the size of the growth surface and the amount of nutrients provided affected how long it took for AHL to build up and for the bacteria to consume all of the nutrients. These two factors provided temporal clues that dictated when the ring would appear as well as how thick the ring would be. Researchers believe similar mechanisms are at work in organisms that use timing signals such as this to ensure each individual of a species looks roughly the same.